This is Machine Translation, Models and Algorithms, a course offered by the Department of Linguistics at the University of Illinois. This course is divided into nine major content topics. Let's now begin with an overview of the learning objectives for our first major topic, an introduction to machine translation. We begin our introduction to machine translation with content from Chapter 1 of Neural Machine Translation by Philip Kern. In this topic, we will define adequacy and fluency. By the end of this module, you should be able to define these two key terms you will be able to recognize and provide examples of ambiguity at various levels, including word senses, idiomatic phrases, and syntactic and semantic issues. You will recognize that machine translation interacts with every level of linguistics you will be able to define what it means that machine translation is AI hard. You will recognize, understand, and be able to label the VACWA triangle. You will recognize that modern approaches to machine translation are rooted in corpus data you will understand and be able to define Zipf's law. And you will be able to identify major sources of publicly available programming toolkits, parallel data, and research shared tasks. Next is content from Chapter 2 of Neural Machine Translation. You will be able to differentiate between fully automatic, high-quality machine translation and machine translation that is good enough for a given purpose. You will recognize and be able to define use cases for machine translation, including information access, aiding human translators, communication, and as part of a larger NLP task. You will understand and be able to define confidence score, as well as computer-aided translation, translation memory, post-editing, adaptive MT, and interactive MT. You will be able to provide examples of speech-based machine translation, and machine translation in a larger NLP system. Next, in our introduction to machine translation, we will take a brief look at the early history of machine translation, looking at two papers, Machine Translation Milestones 1 and 2, short papers that examine Warren Weaver's Translation Memorandum. After completing this content, you should understand the content and context of Warren Weaver's 1948 Translation Memorandum. You will recognize that the earliest machine translation systems were word-for-word -word direct transfer systems. You will be able to identify and explain Warren Weaver's four proposals for machine translation paradigms that he proposed in his 1949 translation memo. These four approaches are a statistical approach using n-grams to disambiguate, a brief proposal of a logical approach, potentially using neural networks. 
a cryptographic approach, characterized by Weaver's famous quote, I will now proceed to decode. And finally, Weaver's proposal with a metaphor of tall towers, encompassing language universals and foreshadowing interlingua. We will next cover Chapter 3 of Neural Machine Translation. After this content, you will be able to describe the limitations and abilities of perceptrons and multilayer neural networks at a basic level. You will be familiar with the terms perceptrons and multilayer machine, excuse me, multilayer neural networks, as well as the terms backpropagation and data di driven function approximation. Continuing chapter three of neural machine translation. After this chapter, you should recognize and be able to describe the cycles of hype as well as the basic history of machine translation from 1949 through 2020. This includes basic understanding of these major historical incidents and paradigms. The Georgetown Experiment, the ALPAC Report, Commercial Syntactic Transfer Systems, Interlingual Approaches, Statistical Machine Translation, Machine Translation Online, and Neural Machine Translation. Finally, the last major item in this introductory topic is from Chapter 4 of Neural Machine Translation, looking at various ways to evaluate machine translation. Following this topic, you should be able to provide examples illustrating that measuring machine translation quality is task specific. You should be able to describe and critique manual evaluation techniques, including adequacy, fluency, relative ranking, continuous scale, HTER, and the concept of crowdsourcing in the context of manual evaluation. You should be able to discuss the strengths and weaknesses of each of these manual evaluation techniques. You should also understand and be capable of describing these related mathematical terms. Inter-annotator agreement, expected wins, normalizing scores. And finally, you should be able to describe and critique automated evaluation techniques, including Blue, Meteor, TER, and the concept of bootstrap resampling.